Oh no. Ev's outdoors, a big great lump has got stuck inside. A boogie boogie. This is a 13th century castle, which is the birthplace of Henry the Fourth. How very lot it all. Welcome back to another episode with this crazy guy and Vanessa the camper van. In this week's episode he heads down South Lincolnshire on a great camper van adventure. But first things first is pack the van and then start on the journey. See you on the way there. Right guys, so just rocked up to an off-grid location, <laughs> just in the Yorkshire Worlds area. It's absolutely pitch black out here. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Some random lay-by. So I hope it's going to be a quiet night. So I'm going to get my head down. I shall catch you guys in the morning uh, where we're going to go for a walk and then there's a bit more bits and pieces going on so I shall catch you guys in a bit see you bye right morning guys just sorted myself out got my brew on the go and then we're going to get ready and we've got a walk around Yorkshire Worlds and uh, not too far from Fetford to start the day off with and then we're meeting up with Evs Outdoors at Tattershall Castle I think that's how you pronounce it <laughs> I don't know anyway so I'm gonna get myself sorted out and we shall see you guys in a bit see you bye right so this is where we was parked up last night then I'll put the what three words down on the bottom because the postcode's got quite a big area uh, it was quite quiet last night so it's not too far from a few walks as well so we're gonna go to Fetford now and go do a little little walk while we're on Ev's outdoors then just see you guys on the way there in a bit oh no oh no Oh, I've, got, I've got Steve coming earlier, so what I'm going to have to do is get a bit closer and just shorten the uh, walk down a little bit. But I found a nice walk um, just outside of Tattershell Castle. It's only five kilometres, so just over three miles. So we'll go and have a look at that. So I'll see you on the way to Tattershell then. Park right next to the river. Won't be any peaceful. Uh, the river's called River Witham. You can do some sea fishing in there certain times of the year. Uh, it's a chat to a fisherman. So that's year four month of the year, it's closed. Um, we'll go in there and do some swimming as well. Big group of people just swimming up and down now. But there is a couple of months of the year as well where it's attacked by duckweed. So, I don't think you'll be able to get in there when it's that bad. But anyway, just having a walk up the river now. Uh, while I'm waiting on Ed's Outdoors, I'll see you guys in a bit. fresh air alongside the river and there's even a pub at the side of the main road where we can all park up if there's like the pub and there's a little sweet shop you've got your bins before paddle but 
I am going to get the old sausage sandwich on. So I've got some sausages needing using up. While we wait on old Stevie. Not got long left, so I'm literally just going to have a sausage sandwich, get me brew on, and then go meet Steve. Nice sourdough, you can't go wrong. Some nice sausages, caramelised onion. Makes it healthy for you, got some onions in them. What we reckon, three sausages. Or four. Fell out. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, look who's just turned up. Come to spoil me party while I'm having a brew in peace. Never mind. <sighs> Stalking me. How did you know I was here? Cheers, mate. Alright, so we've finally made Tattershell Castle. Let's go have a look around here, see what this place is like. It's National Trust, so obviously free to the National Trust members. Alright, so you've got the church parking as well, which is in joint with the castle. And you can even pop in for a brew and a piece of cake for £3, which isn't bad, is it? But straight to the castle, bypassing some homemade cake. Yeah, I know. Not like me. Get some cake and maybe at the uh, castle. Definitely a coffee. Some things to remember about the grounds of Tattyshell Castle. It features two moats that are unfenced with sheer drops and contain water. So be careful when you're wandering about because it looks green and wet. Don't want to be in there, mate. Right, that's the castle done. Now we're going to the Aviation um, Heritage Centre. So we'll see you on the way there then, guys, in a bit. Oh, right, here we are now at the Aviation Centre. And the campsite is literally just through them trees there, about 200 metres away. <laughs> it looks pretty good. You've got the campsite at the back, you've got the pub at the front and then across the road you've got a proper shop. So looking forward to having a look around there and get a campsite tour. But first things first, let's have a look around these planes. Oh no, Ev's outdoors, a big great lump has got stuck inside. <laughs> come on, out you come. Now you know how your mother felt. <laughs> Boy, I felt the plane. It's an emergency driver, hurry up. <sighs> Mate's camper adventures will show you how you get in and out of the plane. I bet he gets stuck. That fast. 
Yeah, get in the seat. <coughs> oh, what's in here? Built in toys. Hey, <laughs> 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 No, you did better than I did. <laughs> There's two seats back there. There's two seats. I'm a pilot. <laughs> the new Maverick. restoration place where they're restoring just Jane at the minute museum done then and if you'd like a ride in one of the planes you can do uh, just Jane I and mean, she's nearly 500 pound and she goes taxiing up and down the runway if you can't afford the 500 pound you can come and watch her go up and down which is really good couldn't recommend coming here anymore so I think the next one is campsite so I shall see you on the way there, in a bit. Oh dear, look at the size of these pitches. We've literally got two vans and enough room to stick me on in our way. But I'm, I'm supposed to be up there. But because we're bum chums and we want to be close to each other, we're sharing. So I'm going to get this awning set up. I'll just like see you guys in a minute. That's better, look at the swing on that! Are you well, Finn? <laughs> yeah? Barbecues burning off some excess chemicals because she's brand new and we've got a hell of a normal barbecue pack again we've got half a pig and we've got half a cow and we're going to smash these out and then pop down to the pub and I'm going to try some local ale I think local ale can't go wrong with one of them right that's tea smashed out so pop into a pub now for a pint. Beer garden. Where was banging? Where'd it come from? Not complaining. Right, so that's the pub done then. Had a couple of neck oil, <laughs> apparently. Not bad ale actually. So now I'm gonna pop back to the van, have a chill out with Stevie there. So while we're on a break, chilling out with the van. It's time to get the campsite tour on. Red Lion campsite, campsite tour. We've got sinks, 
which had mirrors, air dryer, and a couple of places to hang your washing kit up. We've got toilets and showers, which were clean and tidy. They weren't too bad, to be fair. Could do to be a bit more modern. Got an outside dishwash area, which has got a roof on the top to keep you dry out of the rain. There is free washing up liquid, which I found very handy. We've got drinking water, which was next to the dishwash area, along with an Elsham point for getting rid of the chemical waste. We've got the recycling area. We've got a play area, which was located just as you're driving. There is barbecues and campfires allowed. Along with a shop which was outside on the main road. It was closed when I come round to recording. I do apologise. It does sell day to day accessories and your beers. Some warm food such as sausage rolls and pasties. And then there is the pub literally in the back garden. Which is quite cool. If you fancy a pint. Overall I give this campsite. A double thumbs up because the pub was absolutely amazing. Your given speech, <laughs> your given pitched areas was more than enough, and you just can't miss the area really. It's got the aviation centre, which is just on the back doors, so I can imagine this being busy when they've got events and events on. So please remember to pre. Alright, that's the campsite tour done then. I hope you enjoyed it. There's not really much of a campsite tour to what I've been at, but there's absolutely everything here you need. Family oriented, I think. So, under the canopy. I'm not blown away. Like to boogie next to the fire. It was a full battery anyway, so it'd have been alright. A boogie boogie. A boogie boogie. Cheers. I'm sorry, I've just realised I've been to pub. I totally forgot to record the pub. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, guys. Good pub. Uh, does a good ale. Even though I've come back with a copper bag. Anyway, I'll probably catch you guys in the morning where we're going to go and see a castle and possibly something else. We'll see how we get on with time because it's back to the grind again on Monday. So, we're just going to see you in a bit, guys. Right, good morning, everyone. All showered and freshened up. And now we're on the way to Bolingbroke Castle. <laughs> uh, so, we see you on the way there. Come on, darling. Bolingbroke Castle then. This is a 13th century castle which is the birthplace of Henry the Fourth. How very large it all. Born in Lincolnshire. I feel sorry for him. Not even got Yorkshire blood in him. Look at this, got moat and everything again. Mate! <laughs> oh, no. Right, let's take a look around then, guys. So, this area here where we are now 
is the new Great Hall, which got built approximately in the early 1400s, as it replaced the older one. And I reckon they had a little fire pit and everything in the middle. I mean, you'd have thought they would have done, wouldn't you? You don't want a fire pit going on. Got to keep warm. Oh no, this is the entrance. They come in here. That's the tower house. And that's the other tower house. I've got no moat though. Where's my castle gate? Oh. I've gone in a circle. I'm getting told off for talking. I'm going to hum to you guys. Hum. Hum. Patience with the one. Hey, no. Huh? This is the other tower. <laughs> One for you girls here, a receiver's tower, which was built in the 17th century. Patches of lime was washed for decoration. Well, that little archway was pointless. What's the point in going down there and coming back up? Not even a sign in it. Right, so this is the kitchen tower now. Oh, that was have been the kitchen tower. Huh, signs here. Moat is ace. Got hell of a moat rounder. Right, that's the castle done. End at the here as well. And we get um get the van washed. Pack up ready for the next trip. So that's just that to you guys next week hopefully and see you in a bit have a good weekend see you bye good morning guys just gonna get myself my coffee prepare to move and get going on a little walk hopefully weather's absolutely uh, <laughs> oh no the weather's absolutely Right, morning guys. Hope we're all well. Sat down nice and comfy. Just pat down in um, Lincolnshire Worlds and we're just making a cup of coffee. Then I'm gonna go for a walk. Um, near Tetford and then we're gonna meet up with Evs Outdoors later on. It's on bar in his foot. Smoking. Right, so that's the walk done then, alongside the river, which is. At that is our bridge. No, it's not. All right, that's a lovely walk up the side of the river done then. Banging. And uh, at the end or the beginning, if you start at the bridge, you've got a little sweet shop. And there's even a pub on the route for those that like a pub, the pub. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I lost me van. <laughs> Just been shown some directions from the locals. What a pleb. 